You hit it on there? So whenever, whenever you are ready. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and put it on my show. I don't think we have one. Uh, yeah, go ahead and count us down, brother. All right, I'm going to give you a countdown. Can you, can you snap next to that real quick? Go again. Can you turn it up? Turn it up. It's up top. No, no, no. That the the width dial, yeah. Yeah, all right, that's better. And B get right. Yep, B get. Perfect. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all five seconds. Yeah. Four, three. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Daniel Banks, aka DJ. Run back. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Daniel Banks, aka DJ Banks, CEO of We Are Jersey Magazine, and you are now tuned into WAJ Magazine. And I have today with me the pleasure of the artist B Gay. What's going on? All the way from Cleveland, Ohio. What up? 216, what up? Uh, 216 in the 201. <laughs> Appreciate you coming through and blessing us on We Are Jersey Magazine. Um, let's kind of just jump right into it. So you're an artist from Cleveland, Ohio. You came over here in Jersey to come bless us with everything. Um, tell me what it's like out there in Cleveland, Ohio as an artist. Is it like easy to get into the industry or is it something that you kind of had to work your way up to get into? I want to first start off by saying free suit surf, first and foremost. Okay. But, uh, and, uh, but the, it, it is kind of hard to get into that, into Cleveland and where I'm from, I'm actually from a small town called Ravenna, Ohio. Okay. And uh, it's like, you know, 20, 30 minutes outside of Cleveland. But I'm from Cleveland too. I grew up in Warrensville. And um, it's hard to get into it because a lot of people, they're not really like active in the community. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a lot of artists, they don't collab and work together. It's kind of like the dog eat dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleveland, like, and um, a lot of people don't give you feedback, but when you start to pick up momentum, like they they latch on to yeah, you and they give you love. So. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what kind of got you into this industry? Like, was it something that you just found yourself um, being a writer or like a, a spoken word, or was it something that you just always had a love for music and then you just started finding your own flow? And I, got I, to the artistry? What got me into it was uh, I would say like my mother and my family. Most of it, my mom is an artist and my my brothers they're artists as well. And uh, I'm the youngest of five, okay. so I yeah. grew up around them making music and like when we when I was like 10, 12, they would have studios. Yeah. And my mom put a mic in my hand when I was like seven, had me like spit a verse on the computer, uh, like AOL. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> the throwback. Yeah, yeah the yeah. throwback. So like that's where I like really got the love for it. And then I love Michael Jackson and grew up on that. So like I just love music ever since for real. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's good. That's good to have a, a music background, the fact that you're just continuing to follow the passion. So how long have you been an artist now for? Only for four years. Four so years. my okay. first song was with my brother. His name is BG actually and um, I'm a part of this group called Chain Gang. Um, and my brother BG, he was the first person to put me on the verse, so shout out to BG. Big definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Now when it comes to your sound and music, like I can't let you go. Make sure you go uh, check that out on all streaming platforms. Um, you have you have like this unique flow, right? It's like it can be very chill, very hippie, but then it also has that beat and that bass. So how do you go about, um, I guess, your sound and creating the sound that you have for your for your artistry? I think it's more of a mood I'm in at that at that moment. Yeah. And, yeah. and then it's like I have to meditate before I write, or, yeah, or else yeah. I won't be able to even reach and tap into anything. And my my, my music kind of. I found my sound first with my beats. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. And I'm glad you actually brought up mental, um, the uh, meditation and Let's kind of talk about like the importance of mental health with not only just your personal life, but also just being an artist in general. Because um, music is about expression, right? Um, and so the fact that you say you meditate before music. So tell me kind of how, how, how you go about the meditation and kind of the self-care before you even step into a studio. Oh, wow. I, I start from beginning to end. My The start of my day starts with water. So that's that's what I believe. Drink a lot, yeah, drink for a lot sure. of water. <laughs> I believe what, everything starts with water. And then two, like before a, medit before a writing session, I'll either like have my crystals in my hand and I'll meditate with my crystals. And or and I drink some tea, or if I'm having a big cleansing session and I want to make sure all my all my energy is cleansed, I'll I'll sage yeah. you know, like I'll sage the room and then I'll, I'll start writing. In. Right. What what kind of got you into understanding um, mental health and also just the meditation part being so important to you? Because I think a lot of times we don't 
bring up the fact that um, taking time for ourselves and um, those types of self care. So there's, there's different levels of self care, but the ones where you're actually keeping to yourself and kind of just you know filling 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 out a room, finding a space to be able to you know bring in the right energy. Like how did you how did you create that space for yourself? I have my own uh, personal mental health journey and like mental health things. I have been diagnosed with PTSD. So like um, when it comes to music, it's therapy, you know, like so when I when I write or when I when I put anything on paper or when I'm in the studio and using my voice as an instrument is it's therapy for me. Yeah. So that's what's like the most important thing. Yeah. And um, it came about to me because it, it just plays this role into my music because yeah. I every day I have to deal with my own PTSD. So yeah, yeah. thank you for expressing that and yeah. uh, and showing your strength yeah. and resilience. And on top of uh, music being therapy, what else do you do as far as hobbies go to also kind of um, align that and 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 alongside the music journey? I work out. I work out a lot, and um, I think I write. And I, I I used to spend a lot of time with my dog, but. Uh, my dog. I don't have no longer have my dog, but I think the most thing I do is try to keep my spirit and my, my character right. Like I'm big on who I am as a person, so like um, that's that's how I, it translates, you know. Like, no, of course. Just, just who I am and my how I lead in my life, like what the characteristics and the people, the who I am to other people yeah. too. Like how how long do you say, or how much dedication of time would you say? Um, you should be dedicating to your artistry on a regular basis. Now, I should, I, you should at least be dedicating, at least, wow, like, uh, to answer that question now and two weeks ago would yeah. be two different things, but yeah. right now it's 100%, like, you should be d- dedicating. This is what you want to do, this is your yeah. passion, and God's going to, or Allah, or the universe, whoever you believe in, it's going to provide yeah. the, the monetization to get you to where you want to do so just, of course if this your passion do it absolutely yeah now as an artist do you feel like there's like a lot of pressure sometimes with being different um as far as the like not only your sound but like the lyrics and not sound like what it sounds like on an everyday basis because you want to stay relevant yeah. or do you find sometimes it's good to, to follow certain trends the I, right trends to get into certain lanes uh well I I have some Aquarius in me so okay, okay. I don't really follow trends yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. I'm kind of like eccentric myself so okay, I just right. kind of be myself and yeah. if people love me cool man if, if they don't then all right that's cool too yeah. and peace out and I, I enter another room but uh, I, I really would like to be in a room where there's love you always, know and if, if if you don't if I'm not for you that's cool too absolutely. You know? So what is it like now um, performing at shows and everything? You performed at some shows recently and everything. Like that. So what's how, what's some of the feedback that you're getting? Some of the love you're feeling in the crowd? Like, did it motivate you to go even a thousand times harder? It was like, mm, maybe I should go revamp some things. Like, what did like what did it do for you? So my show was my first show was a little ASAP Rocky because I actually like have social anxiety a okay, little okay, bit. Okay. But, but my second show I rocked it. I was way more comfortable up there, yeah, yeah. and the crowd gave me feedback, and they were like, they was fucking with me back, and it was not surprising to me but it was just like it, it made me see that okay more people in the room like you could be yeah. you could you could feel the whole energy and then Absolutely. it's like when I went to some concerts of some artists that I love personally and I seen them on stage rocking I yeah. know why they was moving like how they was moving because they feel the energy of the crowd Absolutely. too Absolutely. so yeah so it was, just, it was just a bunch of just great energy yeah it was good yeah. which probably made you go even harder yeah yeah like, I felt comfortable when I got up there. I was, yeah. little, you know, you start off a little rocky, but then yeah. when you up there, you just be yourself and Absolutely. yeah, come out. Have you noticed the difference between um, performance tracks and tracks that are for like I just want to ride out? Like, yeah. like, are you seeing kind of the difference between like, all right, this is what I know, I gotta perform this, and this is like I want y'all to just rock this out. Like when you in your kitchen, you sweeping the floor, or you, you know, you cooking this sort of like, so what like I, the dynamics of how the game has changed. You know, knowing you gotta have like, okay, these are the tracks that I know when I go, and I want my crowd or my fans to repeat this. This is the type of energy I'm looking for. And then when I want you just to be in your car chilling, this is what I want you to be. There's definitely two different 
performance tracks and then like okay i'm chilling yeah, or yeah. like i'm just want a story time or something like that because even in my experience my personal experience i would say a lot of artists out there if you're gonna do tracks and collab with other people make sure that they gonna show up to do the, yeah. the show with you or else you're gonna be rapping the show by yourself Absolutely. and then yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so that in my experience that's been my thing like make sure the artists show up to perform and and that they gonna rap. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. And honestly, you just keep continuing to drop banger after banger. Like she just dropped Small Friday. That. Small Friday. Make sure you guys go check out. Check out that's actually coming soon. That's coming soon. It's already dropped. It's coming soon. Coming soon. It is, is I got a feature, a special feature, and a Meezy, I think I, that's how you pronounce it. But I say animal. Shout out to animal. <laughs> Most uh, definitely. Issa Ray brother, and uh, we gonna make some shit happen this year. He about to come out with his shit on four thirty or so. Go check out his shit because it's gonna be dropped by the time y'all see Most this. Most definitely. So. so what else we got to look forward to for the rest of you? I know you got a couple things coming up. You got some shows coming up. What you got coming? I got up? some shows coming up, and I got some special features coming up. I'm trying to work more with like well known people, but I'm also working with people who trying to go out there and, and grind. And yeah, yeah. There's a lot of artists that people don't know or. Like we don't get recognition how we supposed to, and we can make it jump too. Yeah. Like, and I, I want to work with everybody. Like, who if you dope, work with me. Most definitely. Yeah. We appreciate that. So make sure you go check her out. If you in Ohio, but listen, she coming to Jersey. So Jersey, Philly, wherever you at. You LA, want, San Diego. You want to link with me? Yeah, she is here. You feel me? So. Make sure you go tell them how to book you, follow you, everything. Go ahead and give yourself a shout All right. What up? My name be Gay. Follow me on Instagram, BG's Life. Let me spell it for you. B-G-S-L-I-F-E underscore underscore on Instagram. Follow me. You heard it here first. We got Jersey Magazine. Be Gay. Get ready now. Yep. So I know. Appreciate you. You good? Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. That was dope. Of course. That was dope. Anytime.